All right, guys, so if you were unable to or struggled to solve this problem earlier on in the lesson, here we are going to discuss it. It reads, you have been asked to study the relationship between spousal emotional support and the self-esteem of male and female children in 20 families living in Belmopan, in which both parents work. As with every statement of purpose, we must follow the very specific parts. We start with a verb, then we follow with the factors we're studying and the relationship between those two factors. And then we go over and select our sample. Here we have our purpose to explore that is our verb we have relationship already there we have our factors spousal most spousal emotional support and self-esteem and we have our sample so we have all the basics of a statement of purpose so we will now move on to write the research objectives. Now there's a variety of research objectives that we can select or um, arrive at as a result of this specific purpose. We are going to come up with five and we're going to do so by breaking down our um statement of purpose so let's go ahead and start first of all every objective is written in the same way as a statement of purpose so we will start with something that reads along the lines of to determine and here we have our initial verb now we're going to start with the factors usually we will select the first factor or the factor that is affecting something else in this case spousal emotional support we're going to start with that one first so to determine and we're figuring out how much spousal emotional support there is between the spouses so we will say to determine the level of spousal emotional support in 20 families living in Belmopan. So here we are basically saying that we need to find how much emotional, emotional support there is between these spouses in these 20 families. So now that we know how supportive they are of each other, we can now go and figure out how it affects the self-esteem. Great. Now, before we know how the self-esteem is affected, we must know what self-esteem these children have. So we need to figure out to determine the level of self-esteem in male children in 20 families living in Belmopan. Okay, now that we know the self-esteem of the boys in these families, we need to figure out the self-esteem of the girls, that's right. So we are going to do the same thing here and we're just going to change this from male to female. Notice that we have three objectives already. Now that we know how much self-esteem the children have and how much emotional support there is between the spouses, we can now determine how one affects the other. So we can say something like, to determine the impact of spousal emotional support on the self-esteem of male children in 20 families living in Belmopan. 
Notice that we already have four of our research objectives. Now, what we will do is we will do the same thing for the girls because we still don't know the impact of the emotional support on the self-esteem of the girls. So that is our next task. And I'm just gonna change from male to female. And notice how we have five research objectives. In essence, what we have done is we have taken all the elements of these um, purpose statement and we have broken it down into individual parts. So the spousal emotional support, the self-esteem, and specifically that of the male and female children. And once we have those levels, we can now determine the connection between the two variables and overall answer our statement of purpose, which is also our basic aim or goal of our research. And so we have determined our objectives and our statement of purpose. You will have lots of opportunity to practice this as we move on throughout the semester.